Taking us just to uh, just a little past half past the hour of five o'clock, and I'm happy to take a little uh, break here. I have a very special guest here in uh, the studio, Nadine Lajoie. Hello. Hello, Rick. How Hello. are you? There we are. And here we are. How are you? Hello, Rick. How are you? I am wonderful. And thank you very much for coming in. I know you're kind of on a whirlwind tour here on the Valley Isle. You're here for like four days? Yes, uh, I was there for six days in a convention and a couple of days off. And um, after that, I have to go back home no. and work. And back home is back in? It's, it's in uh, California, Irvine. Irvine, California. Yes. Well, I'm very excited to have you here. Uh, Nadine is a best-selling author with uh, Les Brown with your book, Fight Your Dreams. Yes. Yes, and also, you're the first female international inspirational speaker. Correct. Yes. Yeah, and a motorcycle racer, uh, and a singer and musician, and you're also just you're uh, promoting your new book. You're out and around with your new book, uh, Win the Race of Life. Yes, I'm really excited about that, and um, that is fun because the motorcycle racing is a really good tool to be able to help people to realize their dream because life is like motorcycle racing. Mm -hmm. We need a lot of focus, balance, passion, and for me it's really a good tool to be able to transmit my message. Now what got you into motorcycle racing? Uh, because I was crazy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wanted to have a bike like when I was 16 years old and uh, finally uh, I drove the bike the first ride, so my dad didn't let me ride anymore. So I got my first street bike really at 31 years old. Wow, wow. And you've, you've been racing for a while. And, yes, and I'm racing since 2003. And you're still actively racing? Yes, I'm still racing, a little <laughs> bit less. So maybe um, before I was racing maybe 60 days a year, now I'm about 30 days a year. Yeah. But with the book, with the speaking tour and my show, uh, I think next year that will be maybe 20 days, so yeah. I have to give up a little bit now. <laughs> yeah. Now, again, now you've been doing inspirational speaking um, internationally. Yes. And uh, what do you really communicate in your speeches? For me, it's really never give up in life, never give up your life, and never give up your dreams. Because in the society right now, a lot of people are discouraged because of the economy, because of the market, because of the family, divorce, and all that. A lot of people has... Um, a lot of challenges in the life and they are kind of feeling in a race of life so right. it's why the book was there really to help people integrate the passion and the balance at the same time then the full speed that we have in life yeah with all the drudgery in the world it's still a beautiful place yeah and if we can keep our core together it's amazing what we can all do to live our fulfill our dreams yeah and win the race of life as you like to say yeah at 180 miles per hour with balance and passion so it's really bringing the speed and being calm, mm -hmm. bringing the feminine and the masculine at the same time, being the power, adrenaline, and also the the kind of the spiritual side and be able to integrate everything. Now, you know, I was, I was reading uh, your press kit and all your information, and I'm amazed that we were not able to hook you up with some kind of a regular speaking engagement here on the island, because I think a lot of people would benefit from uh, some of your words of wisdom, especially um, what's in this book that you just written. Yes, I'm really excited about that, and that is the first time, so next time I'm coming here, uh, for sure we'll be speaking somewhere, and uh, uh, with my show, with a motorcycle on the stage, and uh, and uh, the feminine in the middle, and the dancing at the end, that is really an exciting show. Yeah, but I really, um, while you're here, um, and I know we're kind of short on time, but I want to talk to you about your nonprofit. Yes. That you have, and your nonprofit is uh, Keep Living? Keep Dreaming, Keep, keep dreaming. Living. Yeah. And the tagline is saving lives with fun and passion. For me, I am still alive today because I had two passions when I was uh, young. Mm -hmm. That was volleyball and music and piano. Yeah. And with passion, we are able to continue to live. So when we are discouraged, it's really important to focus on the passion. Mm -hmm. Focus on the dream that you have. It will help you to really... Uh, uh, go through the days and through the bad days and the sunny days, having a passion, a goal, that is really the way to be able to um, to continue in life. Well, your nonprofit sounds wonderful. How can people find out about the nonprofit? The nonprofit is Keep Dreaming, Keep Living dot org, mm -hmm. and uh, you have a lot of information there. Uh, the, the book is there too, and uh, every. Um, Every product or every show, or everything that I do on my for profit, a portion of the profit goes to the nonprofit. Wonderful, wonderful. And you're also a singer songwriter. Yes. Singing musician, yeah. I'll tell you what, let's, um, you know, in, in regard to uh, your nonprofit, Keep Dreaming and Keep Living, let me go to a little song real quick. I want to talk some stories. Then we're going to come back and uh, talk a little more. And then I'd like to hear your new single, A Peaceful Warrior.
Yes. Which, um, is that on iTunes already? Uh, not yet. The, probably the next week. Probably next week. Well, let's get back to the music and then we'll be right back in just a moment with Nadine Lajua here on Manao Radio. Is there anything else you'd like to really talk about? I, I was playing this because this is a Billy Joel song about uh, second wind. Oh, about, I think Joel. I don't know if you know this one. It's all about, you know, don't forget your second wind. And this oh. is a song he wrote about people dealing with suicide. Oh, cool. That, you know, don't forget your second wind. And, um, yeah, for me, a lot of songs that I was singing in English, I kind of... Um, discovered a signification about two, three years ago because I barely spoke English until mm -hmm. 2005. <laughs> so now I have to pay more attention to the word mm -hmm. on, on the song. So. Yeah. Well, and, and kudos to you because most of us, like me, I can barely speak English. But if you're multi <laughs> multilingual, I think that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> what else can we talk about? Um, maybe some more of your speaking engagements that you're doing yes. or what's coming up for you. Um, make sure that we mention how people can get a hold of you um, for information on your book and all that. We're not supposed to really promote the book, but you can share information about how people can find okay. you know, the book. Um, and do you have plans to come back to the island? Oh yeah, hopefully um, hopefully maybe in uh, January or February. Okay. I, have, I am in discussion with a couple of big stuff. I have uh, a um, couple of TV producers who contacted me, they want to talk with me about maybe having my own TV show. Excellent. To be able to inspire people and that would be under the banner of Keep Dreaming, Keep Living. I would like to really to create a TV reality show or something like that to be able to go tour different schools and help uh, teenagers with my show and my stuff and kind of filming at the same time and create a TV show. About Wonderful. It. Wonderful. It's a great way to meet, you know, to promote your message to the masses. Yes. Um, have you done TV before? Uh, I got a couple of TV interviews. Yeah. But I'm surprised because for me the TV, having my own TV show was in my plan maybe only in three years and mm -hmm. I didn't even think about that and I almost signed with somebody like in February. It didn't work out yeah. and I got two other calls. So I know that it's just a matter of a few months now. It's yeah. not three years, it's, that will be closer than, uh, right than expected. So. It's about keep dreaming. <laughs> you never yeah. know when your dreams are going to come true. You know what they say, be careful what you wish for? Yeah. Because sometimes it comes, it, it happens. <laughs> yeah, and, and then for me it's happening even bigger than I was even thinking. Like two, three years, uh, four years ago when I discovered that mission mm -hmm. and uh, I really, I really fight with the mission because oh my god, I said it's, it's a big one. Mm -hmm. But with the message that I have, the music, the entertainment side, I think I have really the, the perfect tools to be able to touch many lives. Wonderful. And the TV show, somebody approached me like in December, it, it almost turned uh, right, but finally uh, we didn't come to an agreement. Mm -hmm. But because I kind of did the steps, it's why when you do one step, oh, and the door open, and the right. door open. So that right. is part of my message to say people, just do one step at a time. Just mm -hmm. wake up in the morning and just do whatever you need to do. Right. I think, you know, it, it's funny, I think we all go through phases and we meet so many people who go through such trials and tribulations. And it can be daunting. Sometimes people don't even want to go out and get out of bed. But it's just that energy to move on, to continue on. And, and again, it's, it is a beautiful world. Yeah. And you never know. Everything happens for a reason, and usually things things happen for a reason. Yeah, yeah, and you then know. you we need to be aware about all that. Mm -hmm. Like when I got my pneumonia in '95, that is where I was getting really the bottom of uh, of the of the life. And usually with the uh, with the society right now, we are just going fast, going fast everywhere, mm -hmm. but we never pay attention to the nature, to the sunset, to the beach. Right. And,